Uh, welcome back to our new video and uh, many students have requested me to post important questions regarding power systems and we have seen that in comments as well on our other videos so i just uh, want to request you to learn from this video more and more so that it will be easy for your exams before starting this uh, video guys i just want to tell you if you are watching here then definitely you might be a triple or a eie student for whom this thing is important but i just want to tell you that if you have not subscribed to the channel please 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 do subscribe to the channel and also like the video and uh, we see that you know most of the people are watching the video but not subscribing please uh, it will motivate me if you subscribe uh, one subscribe you know there is nothing to lose there please please do subscribe and i also see that uh, the other branch students uh, videos are getting more shares uh, than triple students but uh, triple students are just neglecting it feels really bad uh, for me that uh, what efforts i am making in making the videos but uh, it is not reaching to most of the people so i just request you guys to share this video i'm not complaining anything through these videos but uh, yeah if you share then that would be helpful for other students as well in this video we are going to discuss about power systems one important topics for semester end exams r22 regulation but uh, before starting this video i just want to tell you the important topics and important questions depicted or represented in this video might or might not appear in the exams because it is difficult to analyze and predict the question paper with 100% accurately no one can do that and uh, we are making this video just to ensure that students will get a little help for their examination then this video is from our side so that students will feel a little easy when uh, I mean like uh, preparing for the subject so without any further delay we'll just uh, start the video and uh, please please do subscribe guys if you are not subscribed and also if you are not uh, pressing the bell icon then you will not receive the notifications and there is a chance you might uh, miss the videos and uh, later you will complain in comments that uh, I have not made the video on that subject this subject so please do uh, press the bell icon so that you will be updated about each and every video of ours so coming to the first segment which is syllabus and uh, from unit 1 you have convention sources non convention sources simple here if you get this uh, uh, unit which is divided into two parts then there is a meaning that one question from this topic and one question from this topic will definitely appear in the exam so what are the conventional sources you know conventional sources are hydro power station steam power station nuclear power station gas power, gas turbine so these are abundant in nature and uh, this will uh, vanish one or day so another one is solar energy wind energy fuel energy ocean energy tidal energy wave energy so these are uh, these are also abundant in nature but uh, this will this may not uh, be as clear as the conventional sources so conventional and non conventional now coming to the sorry now coming to the second unit so what is second unit so economics of power generation so what is economics of power generations and uh, what uh, how uh, the charges are decided for using of uh, electricity what is load factor so the questions like this maximum demand uh, demand factor sorry maximum demand demand factor load factor and diversity factor they might ask you in the small uh, part a so be ready with that the yeah, load duration load duration curve etc etc are the important things from here unit 3 unit 3 is also divided into two overhead transmission line and overhead line insulator so one is transmitter lines and one is insulator so one question from transmitter lines and one question from insulators again unit 4 has substations what are the two types of substations one is air insulated substations which are known as ais and uh, other one is gas insulated substations which are known as gis so again one question from ais one question from gis right so unit 5 would be dc distribution and ac distribution so one question from dc distribution and one question from ac distribution right so coming to the uh, tips to pass uh, prepare three units chapter perfectly three units of your choice whichever you feel a little easy and uh, focus on short questions because short questions will help you get uh, four to five or six or seven maybe ten marks so that uh, you will uh, have to 
uh, struggle less in part B if you are aiming only for pass marks. And uh, units to prepare 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as it is. And I would say first unit and second unit are damn easy. You must prepare for that. Because in second unit you will get one problem. And that too it is not that difficult. You can just you can you should know basic multiplication then you will solve that. And unit 1 is complete theory and complete uh, uh, it is easy for you to understand. Third, fourth and fifth and the fifth unit I would say that is the basics of uh, 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 you will ending in the fifth unit you have AC distribution and DC distribution those are basics and uh, that you will learn in uh, BEE or BEE subjects so th that is easy. Problems are partially mandatory here partially mandatory in the sense two or three problems will be given in the exam not more than that okay so you can expect so one one problem i have already say, said that is from second unit so one would be from third and one would be from fifth so that would and if the question paper is easy then you will not have any problems you will have full theory so important topics for unit one types of conventional sources in this in this conventional sources you have important what is uh, for example hydropower station and uh, nuclear power power plant and gas turbine plant and uh, types of non-conventional sources important are solar and wind and uh, uh, in this also one theory question might appear as uh, regarding energy conservation and storage so in the second unit we in the important questions uh, thing we'll see the important questions so before telling important questions if you want the important questions of various subjects you can download exam update app which is readily available in play store and it is free to use okay please make sure you use the opportunity of using uh, exam update app which is on a play store okay uh, so draw the bark diagram of hydropower plant and the block diagram of steam power plant uh, so list out the main parts of reactor and base so this is from nuclear power plant this question explain power generation of gas turbine okay you can explain here if uh, see here diagrams are important for this if you learn diagrams perfectly then it will be easy for you to understand and write whatever you have drawn in the diagram so basic english is enough to write the first unit so when you see the diagram you can just write it as it is and uh, you have explained the construction and working of cloud cycle otec system and list out various importance of glass turbine explain dolphin type wave power machine so these are the important questions from unit one we'll discuss uh, more important questions in the previous question paper segment which is at the end so please watch the video to the end now coming important topics of unit 2 in unit 2 you have demand factor load factor diversity factor these are just one mark question maybe or they can ask for five marks you are giving five different uh, things to derive and the cost of uh, electrical energy fixed fixed to customers here uh, i'm sorry for the typing error it is customer tariff on charge to customer and uh, base load and peak load plants so what are base load plants when they will operate what are peak load plants when they operate so base loads are basically plants which operate on the normal load and peak loads are when the load is too heavy so that's a simple explanation important questions of unit 2 would be importance of load factor difference between demand factor and diversity factor how the cost of electric electric energy is decided explain explain load factor and load duration curve problems on energy consumption okay important topics for unit 3 would be inductance capacitance and single phase three phase lines with symmetrical and unsymmetrical spacing so spacing plays an important role here skin and proximity effect what is skin effect what is proximity effect define skin effect advantages disadvantages limitations etc etc whatever the questions is please go it go through once skin and proximity effect type of insulators pin type insulator shackle type insulators there are types of insulators right you can study for that <laughs> sag and tension calculators so calculation so you can expect a problem i said there is there will be a problem from unit 3 and you can very much expect a problem from sag and tension calculations how sag is calculated what is the formula and how tension is calculated between the two two points point a and point b so that's how it is. potential distribution or string of suspension insulation so this is the important topics <laughs> and if we use this an important questions these are so if you feel that i am going a little fast you can take a screenshot of this you can pause the video take a screenshot and come back and keep it handy for your exam preparation short notes on pin type insulator is an important question from unit 3 
get detailed classifications of in insulators i mean what are the insulators pin type shackle type etc etc problems on capacitors on insulators so either you will get a problem on capacitor either you will get a prob problem on insulator or the sac calculation so these would be the problems from this unit from important topics from unit 4 so how are the bus bar arrangements done in the substations what are indoor and outdoor substations maybe advantages or disadvantages of uh, indoor and outdoor substation and uh, single line diagrams of single line diagram of gas insulated substation it is a little easy once you can just uh, i mean it is lengthy but you know you can draw comparison of air insulated substation with gas insulated maybe in the various parameters you can uh, check with this uh, air insulated and gas insulator gas insulated substations so we'll let this one important questions again explain the factor should be considered by selecting a location for substation there are so many factors 11 or 12 factors there are you can just select anything what are the advantages and limitation of indoor substation what are the main equipment used in substation explain briefly gis diagram of insulated substation okay so these are the important questions from unit 5 you will have voltage drop calculations so as it is given in the syllabus directly single phase three phase and three phase four wire so there is a chance one question coming from this single phase or three phase or three phase four wire system basically three phase four wire system is a ryb phase and you will have a neutral phase in three phase you will have only ryb phases connecting in the uh, star star one is star connection and one is delta connection might be power factors refer to receiving end and with respect to load voltages you will get a problem from this unit that's for sure and uh, these are the important questions requirements of a distribution system a problem and the ring main distribution system is uh, uh, re really important and also voltage drop calculations are also important so prepare accordingly these are the questions and uh, so our next we'll move to our next uh, last segment which is previous question paper but before moving i just want to know if you want uh, more important questions of various subjects please do let me know in the comments and also Please, please, please do share this video and uh, like, please like the video. So coming to the previous question paper. What are the previous question paper from unit one? What they have asked, what is the use of air preheater in a steam power station? Functions of a moderator. You can write one or two functions. Define diversity factors. You just need to diverse, uh, define diversity. What different types of tariff methods? See, tariff methods is uh, really important. Uh, you will have two. In this, I think simply I'll tell that two tariff methods. One is part rate tariff and another one is power factor tariff you can write uh, two tariff methods of your choice what is a sag template define gmr on transition lines transmission lines what are different types of bus bar arrangement serial bus bar parallel bus bars you can write that give classifications of substation indoor outdoor so you can write that what is the need of power loss calculation in distribution system because whenever we uh, we have to know what is the sending end and what what is the receiving end voltage so that we uh, we can maintain the efficiency what is a ring main distribution system so basically it's a ring and all the bus bars are connected in the ring so and the power is supplied to the ring main distribution system it is used in the rural area so that you can write so this is simply explanation of part a i have simply explained it and you can also explain like that and get more and more in the part a only now coming to the part b so as i said unit one is easy you will get basic questions so explain the role and potentiality of solar power in india so how solar power will develop and how this is important you have to write that explain the concept of how ocean energy is produced how we can produce so this is also a theory thing draw a typical layout of thermal power plant and explain so thermal power plant you need to draw and explain as many as components as you want yeah, because this is a 10 marks question you have to write it a little lengthy explain two part tariff method and compare it with the power factor tariff see this is the tariff methods in this well, you have to explain two tab two part tariff method i mean like uh, there are two parts in this uh one for so and so units one for so and so units etc and compare it with the power factor whenever the power factor is high the bill will be low whenever the power factor is low the bill will be high so this is the uh, basic understanding of power factor tariff and two part tariff is basically a, a tariff is divided into the so and so unit and so and so unit so from zero to hundred one there will be a one rate hundred to two hundred there will be one rate so that is how this will be 
again a problem i said a problem you might expect from unit 2 a generating station has connecting load of like 23 megawatts and uh, demand is 20 20 megawatts so you can just calculate the demand factor and load factor here now coming to importance of load curve in a generation system this is also from unit 2 again a unit 2 you have, they have asked about a problem which is like uh, tariff calculation for example a factory maximum load load is 240 kilowatts at 0 0.8 power factor lag with an annual consumption of 50,000 units so they are con uh, using 50,000 units and they are asking to color you if you add here uh, sorry multiply here you will get the answer it is basically simple math so what will be the annual uh, savings if pf is raised to unity that's it one you need to do at uh, 0 0.8 one you need to do at one so the difference will be the savings simple what do you understand by grading of insulators so that, that's a uh, first point and uh, find out the capacitance of a single phase line 30 kilometers long there is a uh, capacitance of a single phase line a uh, long uh, consisting of consisting of two parallel wires 15 mm diameter and 1.5 so this is a problem based on capacitance okay what are bundle conductors uh, so discuss the advantages of bundle conductors when they are overhead lines explain the different types of insulators used in transmitter lines okay explain constructional aspects of gas insulated substations again one question from insulator indoor and outdoor substations discuss how the site is one question from subject substation again and one question from bus bar arrangement main and transfer bus bar in fifth unit i said you will get a problem that is from distribution system so you just prepare problems like this and explain in detail the classification of distribution systems and 11th thing is explain the design features of dc as well as ac so design system is a direct 10 marks question it will be lengthy but uh, you can answer so we have done all the breakthrough of your syllabus and your um, previous question paper I hope you have liked this video. Please, please, please share it with your friends who are writing this exam in the coming days. So it will be very beneficial for you. And uh, until then, please subscribe to our channel and also like the video. Until then, I'll take, take rest and uh, you people prepare well for the exam. And uh, I would wish all the best for your exams. And please, please, please stay connected. And if you have not followed us on social media, links are given in this description box. Please do follow. Okay, until then, bye, take care, all the best.